welcome to another year of Brianna being extra. Hi guys, welcome back. Happy New Year. It is 2020. Our vision's 2020, even though I need contacts and glasses. But here we are, and we are going to be bringing in the new year with just showing you stuff that I got over Christmas, stuff I got with money from Christmas, and just putting a whole look together with that stuff. <laughs> here we get into it. I'm gonna go in order of how it goes on your face. So, first of all, I got the mini travel size pro filter mattifying primer instant retouch primer from Fenty haven't tried well I tried I think a sample of it like a really long time ago but I haven't owned it so now we get to own it and try it with our foundation I told you all how I want to be trying new foundations right so we did it and we did it with the NARS radiant creamy conceal mm -hmm. Wait, NARS Radiant Longwear Foundation, okay? And I'm in the shade Stromboli M3. So we're gonna be using that on our face. I tested it a little bit because I couldn't help myself. This, this is bomb, man. I don't know who didn't tell me before, but here we are now. Also got some Pro Kisser Luscious Lip Balm. I'll put some of that on right now, cause why not? Yeah. It smells, I don't even know what it smells like, but it smells delicious. But now our lips are nice and moisturized while we're doing the rest of our face. I'm trying to hold the edges so it's pretty. We have the Fenty Beauty Bronzer, and I'm in the shade Island Ting. And it, I, this, I don't know where this was my entire life. Probably just in the store. The money wasn't in my bank account, but now she's here and got it for Christmas from bless my mom-in-law's soul. She is an angel and I hand her a list of what I want for Christmas. She got everything makeup related on the list. I said, honey, this was to pick two or three. And she said, I don't care, I got all of them. Bless her heart, I love her so much. But yeah, this was one of the things. She got me the bronzer, Sunstalker bronzer. And she also got me the Huda Beauty Total Obsessions palette. So I finally have some Huda to try. I'm super excited about this. It's in the Topaz, Topaz, Topaz Obsessions one. And I also got the Warm Brown Obsessions one. So excited to use both of those in today's look. Last thing I got was Unveil. We have Stella Lip Paint in Unveil. So we have the brown one to try. My collection is nearly complete. Well, we got like half of it now. Wait, let's make that look pretty. Ugh. They're pretty. Ooh, oh look at that triangle. Love it. Now let's just get into creating the look. Let's go. So we have that clipped back and out of the way. And now we'll be just getting into it. Actually, we're gonna start with zipping down our sleeves. Isn't that nice? Pull that back. And get to business. So we're gonna start with the Fenty Primer. Ah, whoops, gonna dot that and just rub that in. It feels really nice. I remember that from last time. It felt really like soothing on the skin. Mm. Thank you, Rihanna. And just for a little added, so I'm not really gonna powder my face, but I am gonna add a little bit of Skin Tune Blur just under my eyes. Now we are going to take NARS Radiant, Natural Radiant, and we're gonna pump it, pump it, pump it, pump it, pump it. That on your hand, on my hand, and I'm gonna bloop. That part is essential. Flip your hair back and then dot it on your face. If you don't do it, I, I'm not responsible for how your makeup turns out. I mean, that's on you, man. That's on what? On period. I just used two pumps, because that seems like enough for full coverage, and I'm literally using everything on the back of my hand. And now that I look like I have the full force of leprosy, let's blend after we spray. Have this it perfectly matches I know I look like I have like a little bit of redness right now but once this blends in it 
it's freaking butter. Like, I don't understand. Look, hmm? See, that's why we flip our hair because these little rogue ones just want to be a foundation. We're just like, um, texture was not asked for in this look, so go away. Look at that. Look at that beautifulness. It's a little on the more yellow side, but I like that. Like, it's gonna be a really good summer color too. All right, I've blended that out and now we are going to move on to concealer and color correcting. Take my little NYX color correcting palette. We're gonna go into the peach shade. This is a new, but we're gonna use that to correct a little bit of darkness under our eyes. Really, that covered up all the dots on my face. There's like a little bit here that'll just like tap, tap. But pretty much it covered any little blemishes I had, so I don't really have to go in with a second or a third pump. I don't need to go in with more foundation. Also got skincare to thank for that. Let me know if you guys would be interested in me showing you like my skincare routine. I've like changed it up a lot and just like changed it, worked on it. I use a lot of, um, I don't know if you've heard about her. She basically made the 60 second face wash rule popular. Her name's LA Beautyologist on Twitter. But yeah, she, and she also has videos on YouTube. Go check her out, cause she will put you on the good stuff. She's an esthetician and my skin thanks her for her many tips, words, and pearls of wisdom. Now we're gonna take our sponge and just lightly tap that into the skin. All right, so now we're gonna tap out under our eye. Blend that in. Now that that's blended out, we're gonna use our, we're gonna use our Fenty Beauty Concealer because we're gonna use a couple concealers in Fenty Beauty Concealer in 280. We don't want a lot of this one because it's a lot lighter than I am right now. Not a lot, but like it is lighter than I am right now. So that's just gonna be our brightening agent for under the eye. We're just gonna let everything dry down a little bit. Um, we're gonna blend out, as you see, I put it on my forehead, put the concealer on my forehead as well as my chin, but now we're gonna blend it out. We're not using contour today, just because I gotta go to the store and get some more. Um, and the shade I was using before was a little bit too red for me right now, so I need to get a new shade. And then we're gonna move on to brows. For this look, I think I'm gonna do my, precisely my brow pencil in 4.5 and just use that for my brows. So this is really zoomed in, but basically we are doing our brows. And I don't know if you guys care about brows. I do personally, but some people don't seem to care. I just see a lot of YouTubers and they're like, yeah, we're just gonna skip the brows because y'all know the drill. And I'm like, well, y'all may know the drill, but uh, I love brows. I don't know if they're my favorite part, but I like doing them. It's soothing. It's very therapeutic. The next concealer that we're using is gonna be the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, which goes with the foundation because, I mean, it's not like necessary, like you can do it other ways, but I don't know, there's just something about like, it's kind of like when your bra matches your underwear, like your foundation matches your concealer or whatever other products are in like the same family. It just makes you feel a little bit better. You're like, okay. These were made for each other, though that doesn't always mean they can't have like, you know, best friends that just like work really well together. You can have close people outside your family. I know that for a fact. But oh yeah, this is in the shade Ginger. Ginger. Ginger! And we're just putting that under our eyes. That's the last concealer. I forgot to even mention that like looking at my skin right now, like it just looks so like this is truly my skin but better because like it just looks like i just washed my face and i'm just like oh, i'm just going out like this it's fine <laughs> stop please leave me alone not really but but no actually like it just looks like skin and i'm perplexed i waited a long time i went and ate dinner lunch i eat food what time is it it's 2.30, I ate lunch. So under my eyes, let that dry for a while. So now we're gonna blend it out. Yo B, 
we ready all right so that's blended out our concealer is blended out our nails is blended out now we are ready for the powder setting it all in place going in with laura mercier because stan i don't think i could ever buy anything other than her like for powder like sis i don't know what kind of crack you put in there elixir of life you put in this powder but laura you did the dang thing I'm gonna take my sponge, dip it into there. Ooh. Dip the extra off on my hand and place that under my eye. Put that around my smile lines. Right there on my forehead. And then I'm gonna take the tip of it and put that down my nose. Oh, that is mostly straight. I have a problem with straight lines. I don't know. It's fine. Mostly putting in the areas we highlighted because we're going to use our all over powder. Now we're going to take our Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. Go into it with our blending brush and put that all over. Buffing motion really helps to just solidify everything that we're putting on our face. She is blended. Actually, take a little bit, same brush, go a little bit into oh that's too much a little bit into laura see that's too much dust that off and we're gonna use that to put over our brows because so i learned this trick while watching some of huda's videos and that's what she does to like make her brows stay in place but also like look more natural and i did it a couple times and i really liked it and that's with the laura mercier because you have to use a translucent powder otherwise it could alter the color of your brows. I don't really wanna do that for this look. We're gonna move on to eyes before we do anything else on the face, like blush or anything. So I'm gonna take NARS. I'm gonna take the NARS concealer. Pop that on my lid and blend that out. Have you guys heard Harry Styles' new album? Oh my God, I don't even know if I've talked about him on this page, but this boy. I have been in love admiring of his work thank you god for a very long time and yeah i just he was always my favorite in one direction and yeah, now his solo career i'm just i'm obsessed i'm gonna be going to this concert in august and i am so excited he's just so he's so pure he's just he's really out here just trying to make the world like a better place with his mantra of treat people with kindness and I really love that because the world could use a bit more kindness, honestly. Okay, cool. Got a perfect base for that. Obviously, we're gonna be using the Huda palettes that I got. We'll use a mixture of both. I zoomed in a lot so you can see my eyes better. Okay, these are the two palettes, Topaz and Warm Browns. Yeah, Topaz, Warm Browns. We got some good, we got some good browns. There's like a yellow color over here that I'm really excited to use, but I don't think it's gonna go well with my jacket. But we might use some of the bronze, um, shiny colors probably gonna use some of those and then in this one the warm brown they only have one shimmer but the rest of the mattes are really nice i think i want to use this peach maybe the peach and the plum that'd be nice that'd be nice we're gonna definitely gonna be using incorporating both of those into our look for today all right guys i am back um i did one eye and then i started to do the other eye and i was like wait i gotta film so this is the eye we created and i'm gonna show you how i did that on the other eye so, I am starting with, this is the Luxie 231 Small Tapered Blending Brush. And we're going to go into the Warm Browns Obsession Palette, which I have already gotten translucent powder on. So, she's really part of the family now. I'm going to use this peach shade right here, this light peach, pinky peach. And we're going to blend that into our crease. That's the one I started to do, but I just wanted to add a little bit more before we moved on. Whoa, that's real pink. All right. Who just got some good pigment on these? So that's really nice. Mostly tapping it on, but blending it into the crease. We're gonna move on to this reddish color in the top right corner. Do they have names? I don't see any names though. Just this reddish one and the warm browns. And we're gonna tap that into the outer corner. So you want to deepen this a bit more make that as red as possible it's okay if you go on your lid to help like diffuse this just a little bit i'm taking 
this same brush. Um, this is the Morphe M514. And this is one of the things I also got over Christmas. Where's the tin? It's called Miss Deer Quick Color Removal. That's the lid. And that's the little thing. Just one of those so I can get the color off of it really quickly. Um, so I could switch to a different color. I really needed that because I, I did not have time to be washing my brushes every day or every two days even. That's a lot. So that same Morphe brush and we're gonna go into this brown shade at the bottom. And I went around the edges of this color to soften it and really like bring it out. You see what that did? That just like diffused it. Take a little bit more of that peach. Well, actually just don't put anything else on this, but like blend it out. So I did on this side just to bring my eye out a little bit more. So just do the same thing on this side. Like basically you want it to meet like your eyebrow ankle but opposite if that makes any sense okay that's more out that i wanted because i don't want a full wing that's why i didn't like use a card or anything sharp or like angled to actually make the angle but i want it to be out i want it to be fluffier out now we're gonna go into this um, morphe M507 brush and we're gonna use um, on the topaz one we're gonna be using this bottom dark brown shade this one of the names I don't know there's some names but they're like in the ingredients so I'm confused taking that dark brown shade here and just blending that into the outer corner of this eye you can use the same brush or a different brush I'm gonna just use the same one and just blend it out so then it has like a deeper look exactly what I wanted. Yeah, we have that deeper vibe going on now. So then we're gonna take this middle color. It's um, like brick, a terracotta brick type of color. My phone freaking started ringing. Of course it was just Marriott Rewards telling me I have a scam. Anyway, so we're taking this middle color, the reddish brownish terracotta type of color and we are placing that kind of over where we had the brown and also blending up into where the pink was. Cause we wanna add more of that like reddish vibe to it. You know what, I might just get a card. There it is. I might just, whoop. Yeah, it's okay. I don't, I wasn't really feeling it with this vibe. I like the smokier blown out look. Anyway, still blending that red brown shade in. Perfect. Now we're ready for our lid color. Um, we're gonna use the topaz one again. Take a flat brush and we're gonna go into this far right shade right here. I'm gonna spray my brush, Morphe spray. And then you're just gonna wanna pat that on all over your lid. It's a really pretty color. I haven't used this before, but oh my gosh. Should have filmed my initial reaction because these are really pretty. That color in particular is a little bit more packed, compact. So you need to, like, I feel like spraying it helped um, let the color show up more, which is what I really wanted because it was like, it was kind of going on, but I had to like keep dipping in a lot. This one I still have to dip, dip in a couple times. It's not like huge, but like this is the perfect muted, not muted, but not as sparkly, sparkly color that I wanted. Whew, there we go. Take a little bit more of that pink shade and go in over here. Yeah, that's better. Okay, cool. Make sure we have that packed on, and I think that's about as much as I want. And then to make this color, well, to just give it like a, a nice little shimmer, um, I took this gold color over here. It's like a compact one. I used it on the same brush, but I wiped it off on the little sponge I showed you earlier. And I'm really just taking a little bit on the edge of this and we're gonna put it right down the center of my lid. I just want like a nice little highlight when you go like this. See, see that shine? It's pretty. It's a little, a little something, something. Just to make it pop a little bit more. Oh, I took a smudger brush and I went into, on the warm browns palette, that peach color again. And we put that just under, there we go, under our lower lash line. It's a really pretty peach color. I really like that. Take that, where is it? The terracotta brown color from the topaz and then pop that under there as well. And then for inner corner highlight, I took on the topaz one, this bottom right color, right underneath the one we were using off of here, little hair. 
and just pop that in our inner corner. You see her, she cute, she cute. So there's our eye look. We're gonna take our mascara, use our better than sex mascara. I found like a diamond one and it was on sale, so that was nice. Love that sale for us. And we're just gonna, boop. All right, our mascara is applied. I look like a baby doll. Oh, our contour, Whew, I forgot. Taking the bronzer from Fenty in Island Teen. Watch, watch, watch this, okay? I'm like, tap, tap, all right, it's on. We're ready? Look at that snatchness. Like, it's immediate, like, compare. Snatched. Love this thing. I can't wait to use it in the summer. I mean, I'm using it now. But in the summer, I'm gonna be, be using this and nothing else. I'll be like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yes, I am snatched. Yes, I did sit in the sun for 10 hours. Put a little bit on my chin. This is just is instant snatchness, and I'm here for it, honestly. Snatch me up even more. I dare you. Dare you. Take a little bit, scrunch it up. Sides of my nose a little bit. Yeah. I need a, a specific brush to do that, but I don't have one right now, so. It's just a beautiful, nice little natural moment. I need to stop. I'm a, I'm a overdose. Okay, we, we good? We, we snatch? Okay, we good. Now we are going to... Sorry. Now we're doing blush. Mm, this deserves a pinky moment, but also maybe not because our lips are going to be brown. Let's do... Let's use our Morphe palette. Ooh, let's use Provocative. This shade right mm, Maybe? I can't decide now. Mm -mm. A dab of MUA to be sheeny yet yeah okay i've decided we're gonna use a dab of goals boop, and then a dab of witty and we're gonna use, i say use a dab of each just because i'm iffy about this color right here so i don't want to be too much but that's that's a good amount that's pretty my cheeks look so cute for a highlight, we're gonna use the Anastasia Moonchild palette and we're gonna use Pink Heart. Ooh, right over here. Oh, that's nice and cute. It's not too much. It's a nice little sheen. Smaller brush for our brow bone. There we go. Nice. Oh, look at us. She's cute. She's cute. So we've done pretty much all of our face. The last thing that we're gonna do is unveil. Here she is in all her wondrous glory. This is really pretty. So chocolatey and vampy. It's only because my lips are so pigmented I gotta put on uh, like a couple more layers. But I haven't dipped in again. I'm still using like different parts of this same dip. <sighs> She is a moment. She is the vibe. So this is the final look with our holiday haul. Like look, look, look. I digress. I put a little bit of, uh, what is this? The NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in London in the middle. Just to create that ombre, like kind of look. I think it looks really nice. I'm really happy with how this came out. Like I'm not a person to put pink, but this pink, look really nice and the highlight like subtle enough it's pink but it's like it's subtle enough that you're not like it's not in your face and doesn't take away from the overall look but i'm really happy with this look i'm very happy with how it came out so grateful for everything the holidays be able to spend time with my family i was really grateful for the holiday season it was really busy but overall it was really nice i got to spend time with people i love and i love that Stay tuned for more looks. I got Sephora gift cards, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back for sure. Probably get some more stuff. Tell me what you if you like this look, what you like about it. If you're planning to get anything from the products I used, just let me know. Yeah, I think that's basically it. I'm glad I got this silver look in for the new year. I hope you guys have a great new year that's off to a great start. And if it's not, you can make it great tomorrow. So. 
there you go. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a wonderful, happy new year and a great day and a great week. Bye.